So now let's consider two points, A and B. Point A is given by the x, y, z coordinates, x1, y1, z1, and B is given by the coordinates x2, y2, and z2. The vector from A to B is given by the following. It's the vector with components, first component, x2 minus x1, second component, y2 minus y1, and third component, z2 minus z1. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose a is the point over 1 up 2. Okay? And now let's suppose b is the point over 4 up 1. And if we wanted to find the vector from a to b, we could draw that on our graph here. So that's the vector from a to b. So to find that vector from a to b, that would just be first components we need to subtract. So that's 4 minus 1 in the first component. Second component, 1 minus 2 in the second component. And so that tells us that vector from a to b is 3 negative 1. Now if we were to draw that on our graph, that would say over 3 and down 1, that vector would look like the following. And as we've discussed previously, that vector is the same as the vector we drew right here. Label it vector AB because a vector is the same provided it has the same direction and the same magnitude. Okay, so those two vectors are the same and that's a good example how to find a vector from a point to another point. Okay, let's move on to talk about another definition. This is a definition of the magnitude. The magnitude of a vector a with components a1, a2, a3, and so forth up to a n is given by the square root of each component squared. In other words, the magnitude of a equals the square root of a sub 1 squared plus a sub 2 squared plus dot 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 all the way up through a sub n squared. And these vertical bars here, this notation with the vertical bars means our notation for magnitude. Okay, and in some other textbooks, you'll see that referred to the norm of a vector. It's also known as the Euclidean norm or the length of the vector. So I'll just put the word here, uh, magnitude or length. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's find the magnitude of the vector 1, 2, negative 3. So I want to find the magnitude. I'll use the vertical bars. Find the magnitude of the vector 1, 2, negative 3 and that is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus a negative 3 squared and working that out we get 1 plus 4 plus 9 which is the square root of 14 and we cannot simplify that any further so we say the magnitude is root 14 or the square root of 14. Okay let's take a look at another definition. Now this definition is of a unit vector. A unit vector is a vector of length 1. In general, if uh, vector A is not the zero vector, then the unit vector in the direction of A, and I'm going to highlight that, that's really important, the unit vector in the direction of A is given by the following formula. So u for unit vector, it equals a divided by the magnitude of a. So here's a visualization. We have plotted vector a. We could do this in 2D or 3D. But there's vector a. Now vector a is quite long. If we wanted a unit vector in the same direction, we're looking for a short little stubby vector. It's got length 1, but it's going in the same direction as A. Okay, so that's what we mean by a unit vector in the same direction as A. Let's take a look at an example. So as an example, let's find a unit vector in 
the direction of A. And we'll say A is the vector over over 5 up 3. Okay? So what our calculations tell us we should do it says we should take find a unit vector by taking A divided by the magnitude of A. Well that's easy enough to do so in the numerator we have our vector 5 3 and down here in the denominator we have the magnitude which is 5 squared plus 3 squared. In other words we have the vector 5 3 divided by the square root of 25 plus 9 which gives us 34. So we could rewrite this if we wanted to as 1 over the square root of 34 times 5 3 or we could certainly rationalize that denominator. Okay so as a visualization of what this would look like we have let's see how it's draw our x and y axes and let's label those x and y now vector a was over 5 up 3 so let's draw that vector over 5 up 3 looks something like that so I'll label that 5 and 3 and then the unit vector going in the same direction was similarly over 5 up 3 but now it was scaled by this scaling factor out in front 1 over root 34 or 34 and so that vector it's just a scalar multiple it's going in the same direction but it's a bit shorter and that's our unit vector it has exactly length 1 but it goes in the same exact direction